Hi everyone, just a really quick video to help you with downloading the Godot engine uh, game development environment. Um, here we are at the godotengine.org website, the official website of Godot. We are going to be downloading the main executable, so we'll go up here to the download section of the website in the menu. Once that opens, it's going to give you um, options to download. Depending whether you're on Mac, Windows, Linux, it'll usually pick the right distribution up the top. Um, if by some chance it's picked the wrong one, please make sure you click on the correct option. Uh, it has chosen correctly for me that I'm on a Mac OS computer at the moment. The options that you have to download, um, I would certainly suggest you get the 64-bit version. Generally stay away from the mono version. Uh, we don't need C-sharp support and it does come with some other uh, small issues for us. So we're looking for the standard version. Generally 64-bit would be what you're looking for. Windows. Windows has the same options, but it also has a 32-bit version. Again, your computers, if you're using your school computer, are 64-bit, so I strongly encourage you to grab the 64-bit version. You simply click on the version that you'd like, and it will start your download. The Godot engine is actually surprisingly small, only a little bit over 30 megabytes. Uh, so it generally won't take very long to, inst uh, to download. When you do get your file in your downloads area, go to your downloads and find the file itself. Uh, usually I do that by going to show in Finder or the similar uh, show in Explorer for Windows. What I've done here is I've moved the download from the downloads folder into a separate folder on my computer just for Godot. Again, that's a good idea to make a separate folder somewhere where you can have all your Godot resources uh, separate and organized. Generally speaking, you'll download a zip file, so you'll have to extract that zip file. Again, there are multiple ways to do that, uh, depending on which system you're on and, and what you're familiar with. In most cases, you've got a right-click export or uh, extract option on Windows. Uh, in the Mac environment, I can just double-click on it and you'll see it actually extracted, and I have a new file here. Um, if you extract through whatever method you're familiar with, uh, then you'll end up with this here. At this point, you can delete the zip file because we no longer need it, and you should basically be left with one single executable file or application in the case of Mac uh, for the Godot engine. When you open up Godot, you should be uh, showing this screen to begin with. Um, you don't have any projects set up at this point, so we're just going to go Open Asset Library. And this is the Godot engine. There's really not much to see to begin with. Um, it has just loaded in some setup uh, tutorials and templates and so forth. Um, we're going to be going to Projects, and we're going to start a new project. Uh, and you'll be able to do that in the next video tutorial.